Good morning. This is Russ and Kitty Walden with Father's Heart Ministry, and this is the Daily Prophetic Word. I have a testimony this morning. I probably should have given a few days ago. If you notice the condition of my left eye, a few, oh, a few months ago, I went to the optometrist to get my annual eye checkup. And the optometrist examining my eyes, I've always had a lazy eye. I think he used the technical term strabismus. And my uh, left eye, when I was a kid, I was cross-eyed. And I had a surgery, and they corrected it. But then over the years, uh, the left eye just drifted out. And I've, because of that, I've never had what they call binocular vision, depth of vision. I don't drive well at night, and uh, particularly when the streets are wet, it's just difficult for me to judge distances. And, and, uh, and because I couldn't use both eyes looking directly on at the same time. So my optometrist referred me to a surgeon. And the surgeon, usually they won't correct this problem in adults. Uh, very few surgeons that do this kind of surgery uh, just do it on children. Well, this particular surgeon, one of the top 100 guys in the nation, uh, looked at me and he determined I was a candidate for adult correction of this problem. Now, here's the powerful thing about that. Uh, over the years, I've had prayer. I believe in prayer, and I'd have hands laid on me to have my uh, eyes straightened, and people would lay hands on me, and my eyes would straighten instantly. There's been times they would stay straight for weeks at, at a time, uh, but it would always seem to go back to the way it had been before, and at 55 years of age, I hadn't uh, thought about asking the Lord for that. I had just come to live with that as an unchangeable defect, that it's just one of those things. And But without me even asking the Lord, he made it possible. It's the scripture that says more than you could ever ask or think. I had not asked the Lord about this, and yet he arranged for it for me to I was eligible for the surgery. We were able to get it taken care of, and I was able to be operated on to correct this problem that I'm now recovering from the surgery. So I know it doesn't look very pleasant. I didn't get beat up last night, or nobody socked me in the eye. It's actually an answered prayer. And I want to give praise to God, a lifelong thing I've lived with my whole life. You may have something like that in your own life something you've dealt with your entire life and you've just kind of come to the place you just live with it let me tell you something God loves you and God's looking out for you and he's making a way for you and expect the father to come through for you even in areas and things that you've just learned to live with and accept it as an unchangeable defect God cares about you and this is my personal testimony and I know it may seem like a small thing I understand that but for me it's a great big thing, and I just rejoice, and I'm so thankful, and I want to give thanks to God uh, publicly to say thank you, Father, for making this happen for me, and he doesn't love me anymore, and he loves you, and if you do with your faith what others did with their faith, you're going to get the same results, because God cares about you. The prophetic word today. If you'd like to subscribe to The Prophetic Word via email, go to propheticnow.com and click on the subscription link. If you enjoy the Periscope version of The Prophetic Word, drop me a line at russellwalden at gmail.com. Uh, as with everything that we do, feedback helps us measure in terms of stewardship the time and the expense we go to to do stuff like this. And so if you've been blessed by the Daily Prophetic Word, this video version, drop me a line and let me know. Uh, the Father says today that coming to know me never ends in this lifetime. I want to make myself known to you, as I said in my word, from glory to glory. 
The depths of my spirit stretch out all around you, says the Father. The heights of my presence tower endlessly above you and flow boundlessly without measure beneath you. Deep calls to deep, and this is your coming forth time. You are in the center of my presence, says the Father, and I beckon you this day to a new place of intimacy. I will cause you not only to know me in a greater dimension, but I will cause you also to know what is on the morrow and what is being said in secret councils behind closed doors. What is said in secret you will proclaim openly and others will wonder where you get your answers. I am a God that knows all, and there is nothing I will withhold from you as you turn your face and posture your heart toward the high places of my presence and my kingdom and my throne. My throne is the native habitat of all of those who call upon my name, and you are included in that number. Your passion and fire for my kingdom is increasing and pushing out all the world and its temptations and distractions this day. I am a fire from my loins up and my loins down, and my spirit is igniting a bone-deep burning in your soul for more of me. And it is available, O my beloved. So trust me for these things, says the Father. Expect that this is what I'm bringing to pass in your life. Let go of every false promise and every fraudulent hope. Reject the sparkle and tinsel lies that the enemy holds up before you to distract you from me, for that is a waste of your time. Redeem the hour and that moment in every tick of the clock by resolutely and with abandon pursuing the kingdom, and then all the things that the world falsely promises will be added into your life without complication and without sorrow by my hand. This is the reward of all of those who seek me, and you are not excluded. I include you this day. I choose you this day in my goodness, and you will see of the travail of your soul and be satisfied. God bless you. Have a great day.